friends welcome back to my channel today i have for you three beautiful dollar tree diys for fall so let's get started the first project i'm going to be making out of this wood round i got this from arteza but also you can purchase them at hobby lobby and uh, many other places I'm filling out the uh, hole on a wood round uh, with a wood filler and then after it was dry I'm sanding it off. Next I'm going to be painting it with this Beverly chalk paint in a color celery. I am uh, going almost till the um, edges of the wood round, almost uh, uh, filling it completely and I uh, actually went over two times and I did it on both sides. And this is how it looked like after it was dried. Now I'm taking these two Waverly uh, chalk paints. One is mineral and one is truffle. And I am going to um, kind of dry brush the lines, the curved lines to create that uh, pumpkin illusion. And I started with a truffle paint. And after that, I added uh, a little bit of that mineral paint just to soften up the lines a little bit. Again, I did this on both sides just because I wanted um, it to look pretty on both sides. Um, I picked this uh, little stick out of my front yard and I am um, hot gluing it to the top. After that, I'm taking this uh, small um, leaf that I got uh, in a package uh, from Dollar General last year, but I know you can find them anywhere and i wanted a little bit smaller so i'm cutting it out uh, with my scissors and i'm gonna hot glue it uh, next to the stem now i'm taking this little uh, wire or twist tie actually i save those things that you get when you purchase cords or even from a bread and i twisted uh, or actually wrapped it around my uh, paintbrush handle and now I uh, twist it twice around my stem and uh, those are going to represent tendrils and I'm hot gluing it just to keep it in place. After that I'm taking the brush with that mineral color on it or paint on it and I'm just painting it a little bit sporadically uh, just to soften up that uh, black um, color a little bit. After that, I'm taking one a Jenga block uh, that came in a package from the Dollar Tree and I am first uh, painting it with that mineral color that I showed you earlier and after that, I'm going to dry brush it with the truffle and that is going to uh, be the base for my pumpkin. So I'm going to uh, take a hot glue and I am going to hot glue the pumpkin to this Jenga block and that way it's going to be able to uh, stand propped up and that is what completed this project you saw how easy it was to create it and i think it looks absolutely cute and it can fit perfectly in any tier tray or um, on a shelf or on any tray on a table it is just a uh, perfect little decoration For my second project, I am going to be using these beads from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I purposely got all the green ones and blue ones, whatever I had on hand, because I'm going to be painting them with this Waverly chalk paint um, in a color celery. And I wanted it, if something showed through, it is not pink or any other color underneath. If you already have uh, wood beads, that would work as well perfectly. I actually uh, beaded on a wire eight beads on five different wires and now i'm just painting them after that i am putting them out to dry and while they're drying i'm taking this piece of sign from the dollar tree i um, already used up the bottom part as you can see and the top part will be perfect for this project i'm using my rustoleum chalk paint in linen white color and i am starting to kind of a, a painting and heavily dry brushing actually this sign i am going to uh, want to achieve full coverage in the middle and then uh, on the ends i want it to go lightly so it looks more distressed you can see me doing it over here 
So it's nothing precise. I just wanted to make sure that the middle part is um, covered completely and the um, sides to be distressed. So after it was completely dried, I am taking my sand block and just sanding the edges a little bit more just to make it look more distressed and just smooth. And I went over the middle as well. Now that my beads are dried, I am taking hot glue and I am putting a little dab on each side um, of the first and last bead just to keep it in place on the wire. And then while that hot glue is drying, I'm going back to my board. I'm taking this Vigorly chalk paint in a mineral color and I am very sporadically dry brushing on top of this white painted sign. You can see over here, I just wanted a little bit of uh, dimension and nothing too much. Now that uh, the hot glue dried, I am cutting off the excess of the wire on both sides, making sure that is um, gonna fit perfectly on my board. So I'm doing that to all uh, five pieces of beads. And after that, it is time to assemble my mini pumpkin. So I'm hot gluing first um, the middle. I, as you can see, I curved each um, piece of beads wires and I am uh, next attaching the middle two parts next to the um, first middle part and they are a little bit uh, linked to the sides as you can see and then the last two will be um, kind of um, laying down on a board. So I'm using hot glue on the top and on the bottom to attach these and I'm cleaning the um, threads from the hot glue uh, immediately because later when I assemble this pumpkin it will be very hard to clean in between. After I was done with this step, next thing would be to take um, the two other pieces of that um, leaf that you saw me cutting out earlier and um, I cut it out again in some kind of shape and I am using the truffle paint to paint it over, not completely, just uh, kind of heavily dry brushing it and I am um, going over with the mineral paint as well, just to give it a little more texture. And then um, I am going to hot glue them on the top of my pumpkin one on each side and then I'm taking the leftover of the stick that I used earlier to uh, create a stem. And I thought uh, this sign needs something extra and uh, I'm gonna use this jute cord from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to wrap it a few times on the bottom. And that is it for this project. You saw how, again, easy it is to create uh, something beautiful uh, yes, this one was a little bit more consuming just because of the beads, but either way, it was not um, hard at all and turned out very, very beautiful. I love the three-dimensioned feeling feel that this one gives, and I think it looks beautiful with that green color. On to the third and the last project for this video. I am taking these Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna have uh, four times three. I'm gonna glue three together, so four times. And um, I'm using my hot glue. If you would recreate this and you want something permanent, you can certainly use a wood glue, but I think hot glue works perfectly. After I have all four of these pieces, I am going to assemble a mini frame. So again, I'm using a hot glue to assemble it. When I have the frame that I wanted, I wanted a square frame. If you would like something different, you certainly can use more um, Jenga blocks for that. I'm gonna next take this cardboard box that came from the cereal, and I'm going to trace um, this frame on the cardboard box just uh, so I know where to cut it. And I'm gonna do that twice. I actually cut it a little bit smaller than what, uh, what I traced because I didn't want it to show um, when I glue it on. Now I'm uh, gluing these two pieces together with a school glue uh, and I wanted wrong side to be showing, so this cardboard uh, color to be showing and I'm hot gluing this on the back of this frame. 
after this i'm taking other part of the cardboard the small one and i am kind of creating a template of a pumpkin i am freehanding this if you have stencil you can certainly use it um, i just tried and it turned out to be <laughs> nice and the way i want it after i was satisfied with the way it looks i um, took scissors and i cut this out now as i said this will be just a guide for me to um, trace it onto this sheet pen that I got from the Dollar Tree. I already use it for some other projects, as you can see. So I am tracing it. Uh, and then after that, I'm gonna be cutting it with my scissors. This is super easy to cut with just any scissors. After I was done cutting out the pumpkin, I took a little piece of this uh, sheet pen and I, I cut out the straight line. And while you're cutting it, you can see it actually curls up and that's perfect um, to, to be as my um, tendrils. So now I measured out where my pumpkin would be and I started uh, freehanding the words happy fall. Actually, I later realized, I don't even know why I wrote happy. I wanted to say hello fall. And I realized afterwards that I did that. My kids were around, I was talking to them and I got distracted. Either way, I think happy fall works as well. So this is kind of a radon font, but um, I did it on my own um, by memory. And now I'm uh, tracing it over with the marker, a fine tip of a marker. Next, I'm gonna take this foam board that came from the Dollar Tree. I have a piece of it and I am going to cut out uh, three little squares because I wanted uh, my pumpkin to be raised up from uh, the uh, frame. So I'm gonna hot glue three, one on the top and two on the bottom. And then I'm gonna attach my pumpkin to my sign. You can see that I didn't do much to my sign because I really liked the natural tones on it of a cardboard and the Jenga blocks. Uh, with the black lettering and this uh, statement piece, this pumpkin, really the texture on it and just metal, uh, I think it looks perfect. And then now I'm adding, adding little tendrils and uh, that will be it for this project. I absolutely love how it turned out. I think all three of my projects are very uh, unique, very easy to make and super, super inexpensive. So if you like it, please give this video a thumbs up, share it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.